Hello and welcome to a video summary of the Samsung UE65KS9000. You can read the full review from a link in the description, or by clicking the info button top right of the screen. The device has an asking price for around £2,900, and it's right toward the top of Samsung's range for 2016. As you would expect, the KS9000 sports all the latest technologies, including support for high dynamic range video, or HDR, and Ultra HD 4K resolutions. The build quality is very good indeed, with an extremely narrow black bezel surrounding the screen. There's also a chrome trim inlaid to the surrounding frame, which is also black. The base stand complements the trim and has a curved design, much like the screen. The design ethos of the KS9000 is 360 degree, so it looks almost as good at the back as it does from the front. With its textured finish and silver strip, which fits seamlessly with the neck of the base stand. You can even hide those connections at the rear, courtesy of a detachable panel. Most of the connections are actually in the separate One Connect box, and those include four HDMI 2.0A inputs with HDCP 2.2, a pair of USB 2 ports, twin satellite and terrestrial tuners, and an optical digital output. The remaining connections are situated on the back panel and comprise a further USB 2 port, an Ethernet input, there's also built in dual band Wi Fi 2, and a common interface slot. The KS9000 comes with two remotes, one is pretty standard but perfectly usable, while the other is a smart controller which can interact with the rest of your equipment as it's a universal and features a stripped down set of buttons and a microphone for voice control. It works really well in addition to looking very nice. The menu system has been simplified by Samsung this year. You get all the usual picture modes though including dynamic, standard, natural and movie and there are still all the calibration controls we've come to expect from Samsung. They include two and ten point white balance options, a global gamma slider, and a 3D colour management system. The Tizen Smart TV platform has also been refined, with a ribbon interface at the bottom of the screen, and a further suggestions bar which recommends content from the apps. Those apps include 4K offerings from Netflix and Amazon, as well as a host of other services, although the UK catch-up services have yet to be added to the roster. There's also a heavy focus on gaming, and the KS9000 is compatible with a number of third-party controllers. The out-of-box movie mode was pretty accurate, with just a deficit of blue throughout the grayscale, but we were able to get a near ruler-flat response using the 2 and 10-point controls. The default colour performance was very good right out of the box, but we were able to get a near reference performance using the CMS. As you would expect given those results, the KS9000 produced images that were very natural looking, while still vibrant. Native black levels were also impressive, and given a further helping hand by a very effective dimming system. But obviously, it was with 4K and HDR where it looked its best, when at times the images were simply staggering. The Samsung UE65 KS9000 is a pretty sensational TV that comes with an AV Forum's highly recommended award. You can read more reviews at avforums.com forward slash reviews. You can also see more videos at avforums.com forward slash videos. And why not follow us on Twitter? And you can also like our Facebook page. Thanks for watching.